Just what's uh, been the biggest adjustment for you in getting into college basketball? Uh, yeah, I think the game is a lot faster than high school. Guys are faster and more physical. Um, those have probably been the main adjustments. Was the other night a step forward for you? Do you feel like you made some progress in that game? Uh, yeah, I felt good last night. You know, I've been feeling good you know, every night, just getting adjusted to it and taking it game by game. Jordan, you're, you're a high flyer. You had a couple of chances the other night in transition. It looked like you were, you were getting ready to be able to get up for a one down and got fouled. How frustrating was that to kind of miss out on your first college highlight? Uh, it happens, but, you know, I know it's coming sooner or later. Coach Parks has talked a lot about you're one of the, as a freshman, one of the hardest workers in the weight room that he's had here. Why is, was that a priority for you? Uh, well, I, you know, just getting stronger, obviously, you know, was the main goal for me, you know, coming here. Uh, and, you know, he said that, but I just try to focus on the present, you know, and be focused with the team. After the game the other night, Coach Barnes said that you learn something new every time you go out on the court. Well, how much truth do you find in that statement as well? Oh, yeah, a lot of it. Uh, you know, each game is different. So, you know, you learn something new playing against different teams. Uh, it's a lot of truth to it. Julie, what's the preparation side of the bit like? Because I imagine it's way more detailed. In college, what's that been like mentally to adjust to all the, the details? That it's actually been right? fun, you know, seeing how they break down a lot more stuff than in high school, you know, with scouting reports, with the team's offense and defense. So it's been a lot to pay attention to, but it's been fun. You find that you learn a, a lot about the game that maybe you hadn't thought about? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff that I break down that you typically wouldn't think. So you do, you do learn a lot in that aspect. Was Colorado a I know it's a tough lesson for the whole team, but was it a, a lesson for you as well? What did you, what'd you take away from that game? Uh, you know, it was a loss. You know, I've lost a lot of games before, but the thing I probably just took away was just be ready, you know, for every game. That was probably just the main takeaway. I, I can say that probably for all the guys. Do you feel like you've just kind of settled in and become comfortable playing at this level? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would. I would say that. Are you looking forward to? Next week, you know, big big time tournament, you know, national television, the Bahamas, all that. Is that the kind of thing that you think about when, when you're a recruit? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I've never been to the Bahamas before, so it'll be an exciting experience for me. Definitely looking forward to going out there. I feel like there's anybody on the team you especially clicked with, you know, any of the older guys? Uh, all the guys, you know, we're like one big family in the locker room. Everybody's talking to each other, laughing, making jokes. So we pretty much click with everybody. You played with Cameron Carr last year. What's it like knowing that he's coming here and what should fans be excited about with him? Oh, it's, it's Cam's a shooter. He could, he probably was the best shooter on my high school team last year, honestly. Uh, so he's a great kid, you know, on and off the court. So they should really be excited for him next year. What was it like seeing Coach Barnes after the first loss in that locker room? I mean, I know he's been tough on you and everybody in practice, but what was that? What was it like seeing him you know, kind of take the mask off after that loss? Uh, you know, as expected, you know, obviously nobody's happy after a loss. Um, so, you know, he told us what he thought about the game. Uh, you know, then we just talked about it as a team and you know, we're moving forward from there. What do you feel like you can improve on the most moving forward? Uh, it's always a lot to improve on, I think, uh, but for myself, uh, just doing what I can on, on the offensive end, defensive end for the team bring energy from the guys when I'm on the bench, uh, things like that. What do you have to do to avoid that, that early foul trouble that, that's hit you a couple times now? Oh, yeah. Stop fouling. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fouling. All right, guys, anything else for Julian? All right, Julian, thanks, thanks very much. Thank you, Julian.